balancing acts. As you know, there are many things that we all need to balance, and some of them are, you know, quite quite mundane, really. But what I want to talk about now is the balance between my hell and my heaven, because that's another kind of balance. Of course, these are very extremes. Your heaven is your utopia, your hell is your dystopia. So between your utopia and your dystopia, how much distance is there? It could be cosmic, gigantic, absolutely extreme. And some people enjoy the extremes, and I'm one of them. But uh, that's not the case for most people, I don't think. Anyway, I think everyone has moments, periods, memories where you would say that that time, that place, that circumstance, that was hell for me. And then there are other periods of time, moments, people that you spend time with where you say, you know, I was in heaven at that time. And both of these things are sitting in our memories and they also, I think, occur as we move through the day-to-day -day experience. Even if you think about a single day, there are moments where you are so comfortable, you're in such a right place, people are doing lovely things with you and for you, and then other moments where it becomes just very disagreeable, there can be a storm of emotion that you experience or that's triggered in you or that you observe in your circumstances around you. And I think sometimes we feel that the times we're going through these days, there seems to be much more of this flip-flopping between uh, heavenly moments and hellish moments than uh, perhaps they used to be in earlier times. I think we're definitely living in very disturbed times and I think it's also good to be so balanced internally that the seesaw of um, heavenly and hellish moments is something that we can manage and that we can come to that middle place, that fulcrum of the seesaw, and be at ease and move easily between the hell moments and the heaven moments. So think about your day, your week, your year, and just notice how all of these ups and downs are really part of our experience. And uh, what is our attitude towards them? I think a lot of people think, well, the hell moments are really horrible and they shouldn't be there and we want to avoid them at all costs, and then we want to go for the heavenly moments and try and have them all the time. But um, I think about it a little bit differently, because I think uh, the heaven moments and the hell moments are peaks. There may be a peak and a trough, but we don't want to have just a flat experience where everything is all the same. I, I think we like the variety and we like the contrast. So there is um, room for that. Sometimes people say, well, okay, within certain limits, I like to be um, peaking only up to here and troughing only down to here. But I find it quite intriguing for myself in my own personal practice to move these fences between the highs and the lows further apart and I think even I, I would like them to be down altogether so that my inner balance and my capacity to tune into my stable stage allows me to go very far into the heavenly moments and maybe very far into the hellish moments where I can easily return back to my my middle area where I'm uh, balanced in between the two. And my relationship between the highs and the lows is very positive because I appreciate the lows. You learn a lot from the lows. You experience what you can handle, what you can endure, what you can tolerate, and where your 
where your limits are that you can't and maybe you want to stretch your limits a bit and then in terms of the heavenly moments do I allow myself to go beyond where I normally go in terms of um, those things that really carry me to a transcendent state you know people ask what what is happiness? What makes you happy? And I've thought about this a lot. And what makes me really, really happy is when I understand something I didn't understand before. And, and that's not just intellectually, but on, on a very deep level. And I think that, um, to me, to be able to go all the way to highest heaven and lowest hell without it being a problem is uh, quite a nice form of balance.